today I am reviewing the Soul Elliptical Model E25. As you can see, E25. Um, I purchased this from Dick's Sporting Goods. You can go directly to the Soul website and purchase this if you're interested. Um, this is not a sponsored video or anything like this. This is just an honest review. Um, I was actually looking for a Horizon elliptical because Dix had it advertised. So when I got there, they didn't have any, or they might have had one, but it wasn't in stock. And I saw this, instantly saw this, and fell in love with it. I tried it out in the store, and I really liked how um, the stride was really nice and longer. It was a longer stride and it um felt smooth and to me that's very important it felt like you know if you're at level one it doesn't feel like you're having much of a workout you, like you don't feel like you're really exerting yourself you know so you could the levels are great you know if you want to like get it really you know um pumped up workout you can adjust it to that level but if you just want to, you know, work out your muscles and stuff and still not feel like you're killing yourself in the machine, you could keep it at level one and feel great. Now, I had a different machine, not by this company. It was by Proform and I had to return it because it felt like the level, it felt like it was stuck on a high level and I couldn't do it. So I was like, this is not going to work. And this one is one you plug in, which is much better than the magnetic ones. And the price, if you're wondering about the price. Now, right now, I noticed a lot of exercise equipment is pretty pricey because of COVID, everybody wanting it because they don't want to go to the gym. So I spent a thousand on this. I think it used to be like 600 and they shot it up to a thousand. Um, also, I got it, you know, at the store because if you got it from the website, it might be a little cheaper, but the wait time for it to be delivered is going to take a while. So when I got this, we had to, it just fit in our Jeep, okay? We have a Jeep Commander. And we weren't sure if it was going to fit in, but it did. And when we got it, we had to open up the trunk when we got home and take it out piece by piece. Now this part was connected to the pedals. So we had to dismantle the pedals and bring it in piece by piece that way. Um, so yeah, it's pretty heavy if you have a couple strong men then you're good to go but it's pretty heavy and yes we had to carry it all up piece by piece to bring it up the stairs <clears throat> all right so let's get up here here you could place like magazines your tablets you could put your phone here here we have a little fan, which it's an okay fan, it's not the best fan. Here we have speakers, I really like that. I connect my Bluetooth and the music just comes right through it and <clears throat> it's really loud. So it's great speakers. Um, here we have the level, you can adjust your level on the handle grips here. That's the incline. And right here we have where you hold that and it will show your heart rate. Okay, so let me get on and show you guys this, okay? So what you're gonna do is you're gonna, I'm gonna hit manual. All right, so then enter, adjust, age okay so let's okay 36 press enter 
adjust weight. Okay, so you're gonna hit your weight. And so on, okay? And then you press enter, adjust time. So like, you're gonna put, let's say 43 minutes, press enter. And then you press start. And then you begin your workout. Okay, so there you could see the time. It's going down. It'll tell you your laps, your pulse, how many calories you burnt, the incline level you have it on, and so on and so forth. You can also do, you know, I like to put it in manual so I can, you know, keep it at a certain level. Uh, you can do a hill, you can do the fat burn, cardio, strength, and you could switch users. So there you have where you can put your water, your keys, your phone if you want. So I highly recommend this machine. I really love it. I really do. I think it's great, smooth, and gets the job done.